We're taking another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star tight end Jamie Trimble, who signed with Syracuse. We're going to look at his highlights. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. But before we do that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're covering the 2024 recruiting class all off season long player by player and you need to know what your players are doing and how they look before they start making plays for your team click that button stop missing out but if you're here for just the highlights just fast forward a little bit i guarantee you will get there but 24 7 sports has them ranked as the sixth best athlete in the class they got them ranked as an athlete 12th in the composite position is tight end other recruiting sites has them ranked as a tight end Six foot four, two ten, and then looking at his offers, he's got twelve of them. Some other schools: Boston College, Syracuse, Duke, East Carolina. Going on down to the scouting report, we don't have one. But one thing I want to point out: Tommy Tremble is his brother. Played tight end for Notre Dame, also the Carolina Panthers. So if you remember him, then that's his brother. Also, we're locked in with Syracuse. Georgia tried to get after him, a top tier Power Five school. So that means there's some goods to his game. Also Miami. When you're looking at these top tier power five schools, they do not go after jabroni players. They don't play around. They don't have the time for that. They're looking for guys that can help them out. And then going over here to the recruiting rankings here at On3. On3 has them ranked 28th among tight ends. 24-7 Sports has them ranked 6th among the ATHs. <laughs> and then ESPN, 20. Rivals, 24. Industry rankings is at 16, list at 6'3", 195. We have some top-tier Power 5 schools after him. Mississippi State's also in there. Again, we got a prospect here that has some good things in his prospect profile when you look at the rankings, when you look at the athleticism, when you look at the schools looking at him. That being said, let's take a look at the highlights. Let's see what's on tape here. We have 10 minutes and 11 seconds. Let's see what he's doing out there. First thing, we're going to the slot. We got the ball after the catch. I'm pulling away. Moves good for a tight end. Or a tight end. Has some length. Definitely can say that. Has a friend. Look at the burst off that release. That's a problem. That's a problem, at least at the college level. He's going to Syracuse so he can play. He wants to play quick. He's betting on himself. Say, hey, if I'm on the field, I'm going to do something. Here's why they got him that list at ATH on 24-7 Sports. I see why now. He's good on both sides of the ball. That's a good get through the hole to get to the tackle. A quarterback slung it while falling down after the catch. Let's see him go. Good contact balance. Weaving in and out. Or tight end. Good movement skills. Throw on the outside. He's quick off the release. Kept the distance on the run. Or a tight end, that's solid. I didn't close up on him. That burst. I can see why they had him rated as an athlete. It's that release that you see, that burst that you see on the release, you're seeing that on defense, and that allows him to get to the hole. Ooh, nice. But that pop off the step allows him to get on the heels down the seam. Heels of the safety. Let them get downfield. We're past everybody. Getting that burst did that. Getting closed up on. But remember, we're looking at him as a tight end. Pass catching tight end is at that. Not in line a lot. Which I'm cool with. Good hands. We're dragging the entire team. Got a strong frame. Now we're in the slot. Ball's out in front of him. We keep our footing. And we're rolling to the end zone. Good 
good burst off the line there. You saw the the sell and the break before we took that one upfield. Ran a little slug out. Sold it well too. Didn't oversell it. What do we got here? We're, okay, we're pass rushing. He moves well. He moves well. He might be best suited on defense. He might be. Look at him. He's so quick. It It's that quickness you see off the release. You're seeing it right there. He's got natural, innate abilities just to have a good read. Look at that. He's got the length, too. That can pack on more size. Oh, look at that. That was sweet. Now we're pulling away. Look at that. We got a long stride, too, to him. I will say, looking at this guy, if things aren't going well at tight end, you need to switch the, you can switch the linebacker. You're going to be looking good. You're looking good. You got that burst. Very explosive player. Here's the next one. Quarterbacks are rolling out. See him downfield. There he is. Good concentration. He is a very good receiving tight end, though. If you're looking at straight receiving tight ends, which we got a lot of them in this class, that's just become more of a receiving position over time. Because the NFL level, the college level, is more spread out compared to like 10, 15 years ago. And it's adapting. A good, bigger, thicker pass weapon. Got some height. I want to look at his listing and the size again. They got him at 195 on on three. 210 on 24 7 sports. That's a big disparity when it comes to size. And when I think about that, is on three wasn't really doing their homework on them that well. And I can't really take their rankings and their opinions that seriously if they're going to be that light on the listings. That should have been changed. Looking at his upside, his ability to catch the ball, he's got strong hands. That burst. That burst off the release is going to be a problem for linebackers, safeties, nickel corners. That's going to be a problem. It's going to be a big problem, especially once he gets developed. And he's going to be seeing the field soon. Like, this is one of Syracuse's top prospects. One of their top prospects. They're excited to get him in the building. They, they brought in Kyle McCord. They want to have a weapon for him. I get it, it's Kyle McCord, but still, it's Syracuse as well. And Syracuse surprises you with prospects every now and again, too. I mean, everybody was excited about Sean Tucker going into the draft and his career. And they, they, they'll get a prospect every now and so often that you can't ignore. This might be one of them. It's thick. You can definitely see in this frame where he can add more to it, and that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I like seeing that out of my prospects. He is quick off the line. He is quick off the line. That allows him to get on the heels of that second level or third level defenders there, especially those safeties when he's stretching that seam. And if they got to take account of that wide receiver on the outside and he's stretching that seam, getting up there in a hurry, and they're halfway paying attention to him, he might sneak past them. He might sneak past them. His top end speed, you're not going to compare that to Xavier Worthy. Don't be crazy like that. But you got to compare that to some of the top tight ends or basic level tight ends or your average tight end. He's good in speed department. He's good. But that burst, he's good on defense. He's good on defense. I hope he's watching that and he watches this, which I know a lot of these prospects do. He's good on defense. He's good on offense as well. At the tight end spot, one of the better pass-catching tight ends in this class. That, that burst off the release is his elite trait. That That is the big thing. His burst in general, we see that on defense. Him, His ability to get to the hole. 
And I keep talking it up because that is what stands out like a sore thumb. Get him go. Boom. Cuts inside. He's tough too. He's tough. He looks like a college player. He looks like a guy that could develop into a top tier college player just by how he carries himself. I don't know how to describe that, but he looks like an athlete who's got some goods to him. How he moves, how he's light on his feet. There he is on defense. His defensive plays are fun. He gets that hole quick. He gets there quick. He's got a good read. He's got a good read. Comes naturally to him. Now we're in motion. He's got experience on the outside and in the slot. Running routes. Seeing targets now. I don't know what happened. That It's in the highlights, but they're not showing it. My goodness. Yeah, I moved my window around. Yeah, They didn't show it. They forgot. We got a few more minutes left. They're about a minute or so. Pretty sure he's in the slot up there. Sometimes this end around. He's showing the burst. That's a good break. That was a good break for his size. That's a very good break for his size. I wish we he showed more of that in his tapes. More of those. Because now my wheels are turning. Like, this guy's a savvier route runner than what these highlights are leading on to be. Not, not a guy that's just straight up getting downfield. You saw that with the sluggo earlier. Him selling it, but not overselling it. And the footwork was kind of light and great. He's got good hands. Tremble's a player. Tremble's a sneaky player. His highlights are even sneaky because you'll watch the entire package... And then we're like 10 minutes in. He shows him breaking off a route. Like very crispy for his size. And usually 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, breaking off routes, you drift. Because you know physics. Because that's how it works. But you, there was very limited drift there. That's a solid route. That That is very encouraging. That means he's got a multi-facet skill set for the tight end position as a pass catcher. Definitely. They're going to be using him in the passing game a lot. At linebacker, that burst... And his innate ability to find the hole and get to the linebacker is top tier in his class. It's top tier in his class. His ability to get to the linebacker in the hole and how quick he can do it is up there. And his burst off the line of scrimmage on the release. That's going to allow him to get on the heels of the defenders in the second level and the third level of the defense. And that being said, that makes him a very scary tight end. He's an underrated player. He's a big time underrated player. Surprise a player like this is going to Syracuse. And he's going to get an opportunity to play soon. Whether it's that linebacker, tight end, more than likely tight end. More than likely tight end, but he's got a ton of upside. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button on the way out. One thing for watching. Catch you on the next video.